Hi guys, uh, my name is Eleonora and I'm here talking to Gogo Magazine. So the first question is how did your journey begin? Um, so I spent a few years uh, in the academia uh, studying and doing research as a social anthropologist before I decided to make a career change and starting um, a career in documentary filmmaking. So a few years ago after my master's graduation I came back to Rome and I enrolled in a short program in documentary photography and documentary film. Um, and with the support of an inspiring uh, reporter called Emiliano Mancuso, I found my voice as a documentary filmmaker and I made my first short uh, documentary, um, which, is, um, which was about environmental conflict in uh, northern Norway. So, um, uh, where and where did you get your first break? So, um, as I just explained, uh, during the short programs in Rome, I made my first um, film, uh, which is called An Imminent Threat, uh, that tells a story of a fisherman uh, involved in the fight against oil industries in uh, northern Norway. So I would say that my first break came when um, I submitted my film to a few film festivals in Italy and it was selected and I was invited as um, um, for the Q&A, for the question and answers um, and I, I would definitely say that uh, it was like the, the beginning of my, of my career in documentary filmmaking. What are the odds in your industry as a career option and how did you face them? So, okay, so, uh, well, I, uh, I'm currently living in New York City, uh, where there is a lot of competition in the filmmaking industry. However, I truly believe that there are enough opportunities for everybody as far as you believe in what you want to create and in your talents. Um, uh, one of the most important things for me is to meet people, making connection and sharing uh, ideas, project and inspiration. Uh, the first question is, who has been your inspiration? Um, I don't think I could mention just one person who inspired me. I'm definitely extremely grateful for uh, the many people that I met along my journey um, that truly really inspired me because they um, dedicate themselves to what they were making until the very last second. Okay, so who has been your uh, inspiration? Um, I don't think I could mention just one person who inspired me. I, um, I'm extremely grateful for the many people that I met um, along my journey. Um, I met a lot of people who dedicate themselves with a lot of passion to what they were making. And any time that I meet someone um, who truly believes in what they do, I am extremely inspired by them. Um, the following question is, uh, what are the pros and cons of filmmaking? So um, I always say that um, being a documentary filmmaker is the best job in the world uh, because you, um, because any time, at least my approach is that any time that I tell a story, um, uh, people and the environment who are part of that story becomes part of myself or my identity. So you have um, the possibility to explore the world, explore so many different cultures and realities. Um, and, um, and also you have the possibility to express your creativity, your vision, and make um, a statement in the world. On the other hand, especially at the beginning of the career, 
I would say that um, being a filmmaker entails um, having a very precarious and unstable life. Um, especially if we are freelancer, uh, we don't really know when we are gonna work. Any week uh, we have a different schedule. So it's really, di it's really difficult to make a plan uh, financially and, and also like um, it's, it, it's hard because you, you really um, have to deal with the uncertainty and um, yeah, with uncertainty anytime. What, according to you, makes um, a good story? Uh, I believe that um, in documentary filmmaking, um, uh, every story can be a good story, as far as you film people with love and empathy, and as far as you truly believe that uh, that story must be told. How is your filmmaking career progressing? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Um, so personally and professionally, I grew up a lot in these two years in New York City. Um, I feel to have a more clear vision and um, as a filmmaker and I'm so much more aware about my aesthetics, my visual approach that I use in my movies. Um, also, people I work with uh, encourage me to be as much um, experimental and groundbreaking anytime. So I really feel to be in a constant um, transformation um, every day. Okay, so in the future, um, I see myself wor working with um, underrepresented communities and um, in partnership with organization um, by creating new tools of self-advocacy and uh, communication. Um, so um, I'm currently working on a project with a collective of uh, multidisciplinary people and our aim is to create an organization that can sustain, support and connect um, different projects around the world who promote um, innovative solution and uh, would deal with environmental and social problems. So I will say that in 10 years I, I see myself being an independent filmmaker uh, working for this project and um, around the world. Um, which is your most recent feel? So um, my latest film is uh, Rebirth, is a personal documentary about uh, my father's cancer and how his life and my mother's life have changed um, while dealing with the disease. Um, the movie is about uh, the effect and the consequences that a disease brings into someone's life and into people around them, uh, specifically on family. Um, the movie is currently submitted to um, different film festival and is being selected um, at the lift of um, New York Film Festival so far and I'm still waiting for um, the next notification about the rest of the film festival, so finger crossed. So, um, how do you manage stress at work? Um, so during quarantine actually I started to uh, practice meditation and in yoga on a daily basis and it really helped me to um, to learn how to manage my uh, negative thoughts and which include anxiety and fears and pressure so now what I'm trying to do is like any time that I find myself in a, a stressful situation I try to detach myself from my thoughts and see them as something outside of me and let it go in this way, I, I don't identify myself into that stressful thought, uh, uh, instead as something far away from me that is just uh, passing by. How is life on the other side of work? 
Um, so I'm currently living in New York City and despite uh, we've been in a pandemic in the last four months, I would say that um, life is still beautiful. Um, now we are in summer, so it's the perfect time to still explore this amazing city and still meeting a lot of amazing people to share like um, moments and an experience. So um, yeah, I'm trying to enjoy as much as I can life here and, and explore nature outside of the city. So the next question is, uh, what would you recommend to budding filmmakers? Um, so my first mentor, um, whose name is Emiliano Mancuso, who was a um, really inspiring um, photo reporter and uh, filmmaker, um, always told me that um, victory um, is in take action. Uh, by that, he really means that as a filmmaker, um, we have to push ourselves to be in the street, to talk to people, to find stories, uh, to really um, make the best of every moment in life and uh, dedicate ourselves to what we want to create. So in addition to this, I would definitely suggest to once we understand uh, what we wanna, what kind of story we wanna tell, like just give all of yourself to that project. Um, I really believe that uh, in documentary filmmaking, especially, there is a really uh, thin line between work and private life. Um, everything became one thing. There is an amazing fusion between the stories that we want to tell and our um, personalities, our identities, our personal lives. So I would definitely say to um, let the people of the stories entering in, in your life and give, um, and give everything to them. Uh, the, um, the last question is, how is life in quarantine? Mm, so, so, in New York City, we are not in quarantine anymore, except that we are not allowed to leave the country and, and we are not allowed to yeah, let people enter in the country again. But except of these, um, I personally say that uh, this time of quarantine really helped me to um, slow down and reconnect to myself. So um, I am in a moment where I really um, don't want to come back to what people say um, normality, because I really believe that we have to change our lifestyle um, and change our state of mind in order to live in a more uh, balanced way with ourselves and with our planet. So I'm definitely like trying to uh, find a balance between work, um, but also like spending time with um, with people and with nature. So yeah, I'm just trying to. Um, uh, change my daily life according to what I learned during uh, the quarantine. And yeah, I think that's it. So um, I will definitely invite everybody to um, keep wearing a mask uh, for yourself and for people around you. Uh, please be safe. And thank you so much to Gogo Magazine and to everybody who watched this interview. And good luck to everybody who want to pursue a career in arts, filmmakings, and yeah, everything related to um, art and creativity. Bye.